So in this video, we're going to see the whole Kafka ecosystem, and this is going to be a lot of information to take on at first, but trust me, it's really good information. And I will also explain where the course stops and where it begins. So this is Kafka core and it's the core APIs of Kafka. They've been around for forever and that's what the whole idea of Kafka was. And everything in that slide will be covered within the course. So you have source systems and producers and they basically push data to Kafka. Kafka, as you can see in the middle, it's managed by Zookeeper. And then finally, you have consumers who get data out of Kafka and push it into target systems. And this covers the entire course. There's a lot to know, a lot to learn about Kafka, about Zookeeper, about what producers and consumers do and act, like, act as. A second course that I'll do in another uh, series is that you have extended APIs there recently. And these APIs include Kafka Connect and Kafka Streams, but these are not included in this course. So with Kafka Connect, they defined a framework to push data in Kafka and out of Kafka from source system to target systems. And they defined also the Kafka Streams API to do some transformations on these uh, data streams. Would it be just simple transformations or aggregations? As part of these extended APIs as well, there is a concept called Mirror Maker, as you can see at the bottom. Mirror Maker allows you to take a Kafka cluster and literally copy all the data from it to another Kafka cluster. It's really good for multi-data center setup. So that's for another series course. A third series course that I'll be covering is more around the Confluent component. So Confluent is the company behind Apache Kafka. They're the one maintaining it, but they have their own proprietary components. They're still open source, but that's their Confluent source. So there are two big things in there. There's the schema registry and the REST proxy. So the whole idea, and you'll see with Kafka, is that you can push anything to Kafka, and Kafka doesn't verify what you push to it. It accepts everything. So it's OK for some sources, but from, for some other sources, there is the need of defining a schema, like you would in a database. And that problem is solved by the Kafka schema registry. Basically, when a Java producer wants to push data, it has to register a schema first to the registry, and then we'll push the data to the Kafka cluster as Avro data. Finally, the Kafka cluster will take that data and a Java consumer will need to read it. So it'll take Avro data, but it will also query the Kafka schema registry to understand how to read the data. And that works great for Java producers and Java consumers. But for non-Java producers and non-Java consumers, there's a lot to keep up with the APIs and Confluent wanted to make it really simple for these producers and consumers to get on board with the schema registry. So they have created the REST proxy. And the REST proxy basically allows you to do HTTP POST and HTTP GETs to push and get data out of Kafka. The really nice thing is that it directly interacts with the schema registry if you want to. So you get the exact same capability for Java producers and non-Java producers and for Java, Java consumers and non-Java consumers. And that concept is an entire course in itself. Finally, a fourth uh, course in this series would be about administration and monitoring tools. And I've listed them all here. Uh, there's a lot. As part of this course, we'll talk about the Topics UI from Landoop and Kafka Manager from Yahoo. But as you can see, there's a lot of different capability for administration and monitoring, and it takes a whole course to cover them all. So in the end, there's a lot to learn about Kafka, but you may not want to learn all these things because they may not matter to you. That's why I've divided this course into four different sub courses that you're free to get on Udemy. So the first one that this course is going to cover is going to be the Kafka core concepts and API, which is the most important course of them all to get started with Kafka. Then if you're interested in learning about Kafka Connect and Kafka Streams API, get the second course as well, which is the Kafka Extend API. If you're interested about learning about the schema registry and the REST proxy, there's a third course for this. And finally, if you're more interested about Kafka administration, about how to set it up in production, how to set up security, there's a fourth course for this. So my, really my, my goal here was to make sure that you get exactly what you need and that each course is, is bearable in itself. So as you can see, there's a lot to learn, and I'm excited that you are willing to do so. So hopefully you're as equally as excited, and I'll see you in the next lecture.